New Year, better me. Hey, welcome to my channel and welcome back to people who are coming back. My name is Ronald and this is my software journal. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about what I achieved in 2020 and what I plan on doing in 2021 as a software engineer. I'll also be discussing some milestones that I accomplished for this channel in 2020 and what I plan on doing with this channel in the next year or so. If you're new to this channel, I talk about coding, being an entrepreneur, and my life in general. And I also to give you know tricks and tips on being a software engineer. If this is something you might be interested in, you know, subscribe to the fam. So, no further ado, let's get into it. So I made a lot of moves in this past year in 2020. And I definitely would say there were more goods than bad in 2020, despite a pandemic. One of the things that I did was move my family all the way from Florida to Texas. One of the reasons why I did that, despite it being stressful, was being able to just be in a new spot and being able to see that industries and companies that continue to move here and just seeing just like a lot of opportunities coming this way as far as tech. I continue to wait in Florida to see that coming, that boom or something happening for Florida to have like that tech boom. But it just was moving too slow for me. And I saw the like growth and opportunities here coming pretty fast and exponentially. Just to name a few, Google and Tesla as in recently saying that they're gonna be setting up facilities in Austin, Texas. So that's gonna be pretty tight. So and another thing too, before I actually made that move, I also wanted to increase my salary. So I actually negotiated with my previous company and got a 16% raise because like this company that was offering was offering me like a substantial amount. So at first I took that and thought that was gonna be good enough. Then I reevaluated the whole entire situation, reevaluated my whole skill set, and I said, all right, I'm gonna leave and pretty much I quit my job in the middle of a pandemic. By quitting that job, I actually got a 101% increase of my salary and you know I got a lot of awesome benefits behind it. Now I'm here in Texas and you know thriving and continuing to do awesome things. Other than just that, I mean I didn't just you know leave because of a salary. One of the reasons why I left was because I wanted to lead a project and have more like stability of what work that I wanted to work on. So now I'm leading projects. I got a developer that works underneath me. I'm leading the forging the way of this project and you know, seeing it through from the beginning to the end. That's just like really awesome to me. And that's one of the reasons why I left my previous job, just to have, like I said, stability and also just being able to pick what exactly what I wanted to work on. So, that was really awesome opportunity. So now in 2021, what I plan on doing is pretty much focusing on these two things, producing results and investing more time in my business. One, like I have YouTube and another thing is other business that I have in the background. So I'm gonna really try to invest in that business, like invest my time in that business. And it's, a, it's pretty much just a tech business that I'm just starting on my own and just building it up. Like I mentioned before, I'm leading the project and I plan on, you know, doing a lot of great stuff with this project. And it's just a really main project that I'm working on. It's expected to be delivered like in a year and a half or so. And I'm already like on top of it by, you know, having me and another developer work on it beforehand before actually starting on the project. And yeah, we're just really far ahead as far as what they're asking for. I think that's gonna go really well this year and I'm pretty much gonna be exceeding my, my requirements or goals for this year. I also plan on actually taking more vacations and more relaxation and also focusing on health. I'll more likely be doing videos on that as well, as well as that what I mentioned before in regards to negotiating with my salary. I'm gonna be talking about that as well. And another thing what I plan on doing this year is studying for fame companies in order to get like a 300K plus offer. And the the money is just, just a measurement for me for the most part. But the reason why I believe I'm at that particular point of my career is just the abilities that I've seen with other thing companies and thing employees. I just need to focus mo mostly on those fundamentals of software engineering 
data structures and algorithms. If I get those like fundamentals down pack and I just go over those problems and do them over and over again, I think I'll be more than enough ready for those type positions and those type engineering offers. I am think I'm ready for that particular moment in my career where I can go for those particular companies. I could have went for them beforehand, actually start really studying for them, but I really wanted to get more interpersonal skills and actually working with a team and yeah, I get more confident in my abilities because I feel like I got rid of like a good majority of my imposter syndrome as a software engineer. I'm more confident in order to produce results. This brings me to the plan of this channel and it's going to be really awesome you guys like if you haven't subscribed already like subscribe now because what i plan on doing for this channel is mainly focusing on quality and giving you the most value out of this content as much as possible so i'm just gonna like list off for list off like a couple of things that i plan on doing this year for you guys since i'm studying for more technical and programming like type interviews. I'm gonna be going heavily on my data structures and algorithms. So I'm gonna be doing videos on those and just the progress of that. So, you know, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to this channel when I'll be doing that process. So you can go through each, every single step of how I got to where I need to be. I will also be finishing up my email service app and I'm gonna be going over, going live, also marketing it and just distributing it out and just like getting it out there to actually test it out. At this point, I'm really, really close and I'm be doing an update video in regards to that probably in this upcoming month. So look out for it. I'm also thinking about introducing some interesting content formats such as reaction videos and short videos. Short videos and these reaction videos, they're definitely gonna be software engineering related. So, you know, keep your eyes out for those as well. And like I said, I'm really focusing on producing high quality videos this year. So I'm going to be purchasing some equipment to increase the video production and this going over lens, shotgun mics and all this other stuff. All coming from my pocket because I want to invest as much quality to these videos because I really enjoy making this content and sharing this information to you guys and ladies. So pretty much this is gonna be the last part of this video. This brings me to the milestones that we hit for this channel. And I'm just gonna list off a couple of milestones that we hit. So I really started taking content creating seriously roughly around May, 2020. And yeah, like ever since then, I, I told myself I wanted to make 35 videos before the end of the year. So we at this point where we had 36 videos for entirely for this channel. 37 including this video and yeah that's just a really big milestone because i wanted to produce out something and gain like more momentum as far as quality goes for the videos if you guys saw my videos at the beginning of this year like i was using a gopro and yeah it was just very interesting audio for the most part hey the information was really good well, you know, I, I really wanted to change that up because I really wanted to take it seriously. One of the things, especially if you're an entrepreneur, if you want to be an entrepreneur, I highly invest into investing in yourself. And one of the things that I did for this channel, I wanted to invest more quality into this channel. So I bought new gear, upgraded the gear so I can get better audio, better video quality. And yeah, now you guys have this now. And it's only gonna get better. And I continue to promise you that. But we hit like so many milestones as far as viewership. So we hit the 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000, and we just continue to go up. So I'm really grateful and just know I really appreciate and thank you guys very much for watching my videos. So yeah, much love. And more importantly, we got, we hit a milestone of 50 subs. At the time of this video, I think we we're at 89 subs and yeah it's just it's just so amazing that you guys are like really vibe into my content so i really appreciate everything you guys do as far as viewing this channel and all the awesome feedback that you guys gave back to me in this past year so i really appreciate it it's going to be a super productive year i'm super excited you guys should be super excited and like if you guys are down just hey look at my videos and realize that 
there's no reason why you should stop doing what you love to do. And I'm just going to continue to preach that all my whole, my whole entire life, and especially through this whole entire channel. I love doing this. I love making content. I love programming. I love solving problems. One of the reasons why I want to be an entrepreneur. And yeah, I just want to show you my life. So if you guys haven't subscribed already, subscribe. If you like this content, like it. And you know, comment down below what you guys are looking forward to see for this channel in the near future. So until next time, peace. Peace.